Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to operate the vPro8. The setup we have here is the one Unit High vPro8, the graphical user interface via touchscreen, and the quad split output of the vPro8. If you want to know the default IP address, then you just need to touch this default IP button of the vPro8, and both addresses of both ports will be shown on the quad split output. For this demo we work with Google Chrome. You just need to enter the IP address that was shown on the quad split output. To go to the graphical user interface, I'll switch to full screen. And via the login button, you enter the main page of the GUI. The GUI is divided into two sections, an upper and a lower section. For every button you enter on the upper section, more options will be shown in the lower section. In the status menu, you have an overview of the incoming SEI inputs, your MADI connections, and some more information about your frame. In the SEI input section, you can read out your time codes, your PPM monitoring, or your routing. Here you can do as well frame synchronization or add some delay. In the MADI input menu, you have an overview of all your 64 incoming MADI channels. You can add some delay here as well. In the SEI output menu, you can do basic routing. You can do cross conversion, color correction, or adjust your levels. In the MADI output section, you have as well an overview of your 64 outgoing audio channels and you can do some routing. In this menu you can tweak your multiviewer. You can take every incoming or outgoing signal onto one of the four pictures in pictures. In this menu here you have an overview of your incoming and outgoing SEI signals timing wise. And you can set your reference output. In this menu you have an overview of different settings of the vPro8 like network, you can save and recall settings or do some preferences. This was a short overview of all the basic operations of the unit. In the next videos I will go more into detail. Thanks for watching.